So Android is working on a feature to transfer your eSIM from one phone to another, and it is a huge deal. But to understand how big of a deal it is, we first need to understand the problem. So, an eSIM is basically a downloaded SIM card. It works exactly like a physical SIM, with the only difference being that it's not physical, so you cannot just pop it open out of a SIM tray and load it into another phone. You download the SIM information from your service provider onto your smartphone. Where the problem comes in is when you need to switch devices. You will need to remove the SIM from the old phone and then put it into the new phone. It is a very easy process with a physical SIM card because you just eject it from the old phone and insert it into the new one. Not so easy with an eSIM. In more progressive countries, you will need to use your service provider's app to log into your account and receive a link to download a new eSIM. Slight inconvenience compared to a physical SIM. In Zimbabwe, you will actually need to physically visit an Econet shop to get the eSIM loaded onto your device. I'm name dropping Econet because it is the only service provider issuing out eSIMs at the time of filming this video. So an eSIM is quite a hassle when it comes to switching devices and for people who frequently swap their lines between different devices, be it moving the SIM from a device with an empty battery to one with a full battery or between a phone and a tablet or even to use mobile internet on their LTE enabled laptop, you are better off with a physical SIM. But it seems Android is looking into it and has made significant progress in making it a seamless process to transfer an eSIM profile from one Android device to another. How it will work is, when you initiate the eSIM profile transfer on one device, it will generate a QR code which you can then scan on the new device. This QR code will then download the eSIM profile from your old device onto your current one. If anyone was wondering, no. This will not make it possible to use the same number for calls and SMSs on two different devices. Over the fence, Apple already has this feature and it works between two iPhones. The prerequisites are of course that you need to have an iPhone that supports an eSIM, a service provider that offers the eSIM service, and iOS 16 or newer the version of iOS that's on your device. You can even convert a physical SIM to an eSIM on an iPhone, but it requires your service provider to already support this. Something that I have not tested yet on Econet in Zimbabwe. Back to Android. The feature was spotted in a beta version of Android 13 that was released in January this year. As for when it will be released for the masses, there are no dates yet. There is just some hope that it might be coming in with Android 14, which should be out with the Pixel 8 series of smartphones later this year. It's not going to solve all the problems that physical SIM cards don't have, like swapping an eSIM between a phone and a laptop, or between an iPhone and an Android, or even between a phone and a fixed or portable LTE or 5G router. But at least when it eventually arrives, it's one less problem we'll have to face with eSIMs. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.